We're all getting more and more excited about the forthcoming coronation of King Charles III next spring. That's right, in May, we simply can't wait. And for many of us, it's the very first time we're going to see a coronation in full. I don't know about you, but I love watching the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II, particularly the colorized versions, because you hear so many stories, don't you, about what it was like for many people for the very first time to watch such an event on television. You have to remember that way back in the early 50s, television was very much in its infancy over here. You do have, of course, the Duke of Edinburgh to thank for that. I mean, it's an historical document. According to a good source, Her Majesty the Queen was absolutely thrilled in years to come to actually point out that it was the Duke's idea to televise the event. Even she apparently was unsure about it at that particular time. So this latest news about King Charles III basically is very exciting indeed because in the dead of night it appears that his crown that's right the crown of king charles the second the original crown had been taken out of the tower of london and transported to a secret location for the royal jewelers mapping and web to put it together basically to resize the crown now i don't know about you but you never think about this do you you kind of think well it's a crown pop it on the head off we go. But of course, it's not as simple as that. It has to be resized to make sure it fits the head of King Charles III. Now, when you think about it, this crown was put together originally in 1661. Can you imagine the insurance on that? I mean, it must be terrifying even just to pick it up. As we saw recently in the state funeral of our wonderful late monarch, we saw the crown placed, didn't we, uh, on the top of her coffin. It was a very moving moment, wasn't it? Because for so many people, we just associate that with her. And to see it sitting there solitary on her casket really brought it all home. But really, what can people expect? Well, this will form part, a very integral part, of the coronation, as I say, in the spring of next year. But don't worry, King Charles will also be wearing the imperial state crown too, the one that his mother wore at her coronation. But it really just shows what goes on behind the scenes and, you know, the run-up to a big event like this. A lot of people are saying, you know, will it be a slimmed-down version of the coronation? Will it be this? Will it be that? I predict that it will have all the power and of course the privilege that we want to see for a coronation. This is a chance for Great Britain to show once again exactly why we are such a rival country, why people truly enjoy looking at our beautiful monarchy and their history. But just to know that the crown has now departed, the Tower of London, I don't know if you've ever been to the Tower of London, but it's sort of well, so depth in history. And when you think about it, it was truly a working tower when it first started out. There's truly so much history there. It's definitely well worth a visit. But whatever we find out next as ever with the resizing of the crown, we'll let you know. But isn't it nice to know that in the depths of the darkest winter days, maybe even in the dark of night, that's right, that crown, belonging originally to King Charles II, quietly departed the Tower of London to an undisclosed location. And resizing starts now. And of course, we'll only actually see this for the very first time as it's placed upon the head of our brand new king. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.